Hey, it's Corey from Earthquaker, and it's time to talk Tube Screamers. So since the 70s, guitarists from blues to country to metal arenas have had this iconic green overdrive serving their pedal board in one form or another. So today we introduce to you the plumes. <laughs> An important aspect of the Tube Screamer is the emphasis on the guitar to pedal to amp relationship. Now, in an original Tube Screamer circuit, there is this underlying feel of your clean signal that many players seek. So in the plumes, we made a very conscious effort to retain as much of the dynamics of the original signal as possible, while still pushing the presence, focusing the mid-range, and giving you an almost three-dimensional clarity that's going to push your amp over the edge. Compared to the Palisades or Dunes, which are other Tube Screamer inspired products in our line, the Plumes is actually a bit closer to a stock 808. However, there have been some very deliberate changes to bring the most out of the overdrive circuit and to deliver something truly special. For example, we've omitted the transistor based input and output buffers and replaced them with JFET op amps. And in lieu of the illustrious 4558 chip, is yet another JFET IC. So aside from lowering the noise floor, all of these changes are increasing presence and headroom and accentuating note definition. There are a couple other key differences from the Palisades or Dunes. For example, the Plumes runs off at plus or minus nine volts internally, which adds significantly more headroom and clarity. But what this really incorporates is a much different feel. It's incredibly punchy and articulate. One of the other key differences is that the tone control has been completely redesigned and allows you to maintain mid-range throughout the travel while still getting control over the top and bottom end. Now, one of the key benefits as opposed to a traditional Tube Screamer, which cuts a significant amount of low end, is that with the plumes, you can actually bring back in some of that valuable bottom end while still getting that mid-range push that everyone seeks out of the original circuit. <laughs> Now, some players find that an original Tube Screamer can compress your signal unfavorably. So it's really great to have the option within the plumes to select between various clipping modes, which greatly affect not only how your playing responds to the pedal, but how the pedal is interacting with your amplifier. So we have three modes. Mode one is symmetrical LED clipping. This mode is the crunchiest on the plumes with very musical compression. Mode two is wide open op amp drive. 
This mode is perfect for pushing your clean signal out in front or driving an already dirty amp into blooming harmonic sustain. Mode 3 is asymmetrical silicon clipping, which is the closest sounding to a stock 808, where you're going to get that recognizable half clean, half dirty breakup that everyone seeks, but with more harmonics and interesting decay. One of the interesting things about the plumes, it has this excellent ability to control the gain structure by using the volume pots and the pickup selections on your guitar. So it has the ability to still push the mid range while retaining the low end, while you're able to get different gain settings depending on which pickup you're on. A lot of my favorite players growing up are records that I thought had amazing guitar tone, always had a common thread amongst them, which was that there was always a significant amount of gain and tone shaping on the way into their amps. The Plumes is a great way for you to sculpt the gain structure and the shape of your signal, and that paired with the ability to control just how hard it's hitting the front end of your amplifier makes the Plumes an incredibly powerful tool that'll help you realize the guitar sound that you hear in your head. 